It's Vijack. Sieto de Oro's down at the rail. Three quarters went in 112. Sieto de Oro's and Vijack, and they're heads apart. Then it's Long River. Amerigo Vespucci down at the rail. Far outside. Vegas no show. They come for the 16th pole. Siete de Oro's trying to pull off the upset. Vijack's on the outside. The two of them come down for the line. Terrific finish in the Jerome. It goes to Vijack by a head. Vijack answered the class question with that victory in the grade two Jerome under Cornelio Velasquez. The next question was, could he handle two turns? He checked that one off with a nifty win in the Gotham under new rider Joel Rosario. And on the far outside, here comes Vijack. And Vijack has stormed to the lead. Vijack drawing away now in deep stretch. And he's going to remain unbeaten as he takes the Gotham Stakes. I think John Embryo called him at one time. Vijack almost in about eighth or ninth, and he just explodes. This is the rider change that they wanted from Cornelio Velasquez, more of a front end rider, to Joel Rosario. This is his patented ride. Take back, make one run, and Vijack explodes by this field. The Wood Memorial presented a more daunting challenge. Derby favorite, Verrazano. Coming into the final furlong now, Verrazano tested as he has never been tested before by Vijack. Two undefeated three-year-olds into the final 16th of a mile. Normandy Invasion is third, and they're coming down to the finish, and it will be Verrazano onto the Derby. A son of Into Mischief, a freshman sire at Spendthrift Farm, Vijack will have another new rider for the Derby, veteran Garrett Gomez. He's very versatile. I mean, some of his races, his early races, he was very forward, almost on the lead. Um, you know, I think his, his Gotham was, he, I mean, he was almost last. So, I mean, he shows a lot of talent and, um, you know, being very versatile, which will help in the Kentucky Derby. And that's another Kentucky Derby profile.